Okay, guys, welcome back to part two of the 8-bit debate. We kicked it off. The question was posed, should Tim Sherwood have been given a bigger shot? Should he have given the chance to, you know, carry on managing Spurs? It's currently 4-4. Reese, we're going to start with you. In response to Barnaby's comments about Harry Kane and about all that sort of stuff, look, no one is Which denying... Which you can see in part one, if you haven't seen part one. No one is yeah. denying that he was a great youth team manager, okay? Head of development, development coach. Head of development, fine. Big fish, little pond. Suddenly he gets into the big sea, and he can't bloody swim. Ooh. That's what happened. He didn't know what he was doing. It was obviously thanks to Les Ferdinand, and it was obviously thanks to Chris Ramsey that they were bringing up these clubs. Oh, they God. all get in the big oh, I know God. they were managers there. They also then get in the big league, and they can't hack it, because they're good at developing players. They're not good at nurturing that development I into don't like, real Premier League I don't squad like the way you've stuff. called our academy which we have spent over 15 million pounds on a little pond when 15 that million pounds is half future, of what Paulinho costs. That is what our future in terms of the whole Do you think 15 Paulinho million pounds is a lot of money in football? Paulinho was 17 million pounds by the way so I'm not sure he really knows his facts but what I'm going to say is Ooh. our entire future of Spurs is based on that academy especially for the next six or seven years while we build the stadium so don't call that a little pond. Well, what about the fact that Ryan Mason thanks, thanks Pochettino oh. for giving him a chance because Tim Sherwood and that lot hadn't given him a chance. Mason says it's all down to Maurizio for getting his chance. Because I'm going to sway with Reese on this one. I'm going to say, you know, the reserves is kind of the little league. Let's face facts. It's not the main stage. Wasn't, playing with no wasn't in charge of the reserves, but never mind. Ryan Mason was injured the season that Tim Sherwood was in charge. That's why he didn't play. But fine, whatever not you say. Whole time. Let me go with my next point. My favourite player, our new five-year contract holder, who was interested by, uh, who uh, PSG were interested in, and the future of our midfield, Nabil Bentaleb, was given his debut by Tim Sherwood. We admit this, Reese, admit it. You didn't even know who he was when he played against Southampton on his debut. You hadn't heard of him. No, I hadn't. Do you know heard how I know? Because I hadn't either. So fair play to Tim Sherwood on that. I didn't even know. Fair enough. Not point. denying that, you can have that point. Five, five. Putting Bentaleb in was good. Uh, he did struggle against Arsenal, though, when we lost that game, um, <laughs> which we did lose because Tim Sherwood wanted Arsenal to win because he is an Arsenal fan. Another issue is Tim Sherwood's temper and lack of professionalism throughout his entire Spurs career and still at Villa, but m mostly at Spurs. I was there at the Arsenal game at home when he threw the ball at Sanya needlessly and started a 20-man Oh, that was run. a bad thing. Right. That's a point for Barnaby. Yeah, I no, think that was, a, think that was a great... I, I, I think that player. was a great... I was, I he's, was meant, he's meant to be the manager. He's meant to be stopping violence and rucks. He had to impose a touchline ban on himself. And the only reason he did that is because other managers said, look, if you don't do that, mate, you are going to get sacked and you're going to lose out on millions of pounds. Can I make but he did get sacked even though he had done that, because he was still out of temper from the touchline. Can line. I argue He's this? a little I... tiny child toddler brat. Wow. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Ooh. Exactly. Little, little tiny toddler brat. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> let me argue your point, Reese. if that is your real name. Ooh. Tim Sherwood was like that. As if Barnaby's a real name. Tim Sherwood was like that. But earlier on, you slagged off AVB for not being good enough. And one of the things that a lot of Spurs fans said against AVB is he was too passive. He was in his little crouch yeah, position. Yeah, there's a middle ground. Like and either side of it is a terrible oh, manager. So now you want a middle ground. You don't want... Maurizio Pochettino is yes, the middle well, ground. Well, we both agree Maurizio Pochettino <laughs> is a great manager. However, I'm just saying, the fact that we had a manager who was instilled a bit of, you know, passion. He, he wanted it. No, he, he was it was all, not passion. Like, I liked it was it. rage. I liked it. There's a difference between passion and rage, and I'm going to prove it right I now. I like rage. <laughs> I like rage and I like passion. Anyway. It's currently six. I feel sorry for your girlfriend then, mate. Five to Barnaby. Six five to me, and it's my right. turn to make a point. It's How my turn dare to you. make a you point. You just made a point. You've been speaking for ages, mate. All right, we're going to throw over to Reese. Talking about Goldilocks. Ooh, we're too angry, to too passive. I can't believe you talked about my right. girlfriend. What about how embarrassing he is? He's embarrassed the club, Tim Sherwood. I've got loads of different reasons he embarrassed the club. First of all, Gilet. Come on, mate. Get some sleeves. Right. Second of all, Adebayor salute. Embarrassing. Yeah, that's cringe. a point to read. Absolutely that's cringe and embarrassing. Was so cheesy. Right. There, Pathetic. There were, right. some, there were some things I knew would come up in this debate that I, I had already known was going to get a point against me. That's fine. I actually agree with that. I think he did make some mistakes, but you've got to realise he's a young raw manager in his first managerial job. And do you know why he got exactly. that job? And another reason I should get a point is because he was mentored and employed by Harry Redknapp, a.k.a. the most successful manager in modern times at Spurs. And Harry Redknapp... I've said that in another debate. I'm trust. a big Redknapp fan. Yeah, I'm, not going to argue against I'm not going to argue against Redknapp when Craig is in the driving seat. What I am going to say is that when Sherwood got sacked... So, do you remember on the last day of the season, right, with 3-0 up against Aston Villa, talking about his unprofessionalism, someone in the stands is giving Sherwood grief. Sherwood pulls that guy out of the stands, puts him in the managerial seat, the most unprofessional thing I've ever yeah, seen. The and point, then, the and then, the I'm not finished. I am not, I am not finished. I'm not finished. And then, after the game, 
Jeff Shreve says, do you think that bloke stands a chance of being Spurs manager? And Sherwood, in some sort of anti-national, reverse nationalism situation, said no chance, he's English. Uh, remember Redknapp, mate? Pretty successful manager at Spurs who lasted a bit longer than you, 28 games Sherwood. This so stop blaming the fact you're English this for not getting a manager by the way, and admit that you're bad at tactics and you're a bad manager and I'm you're gonna a give that to you're I'm gonna give that to Reese. He wasn't a tactician and he was a bit bitter as a man. We've already given him a point for him not being a tactician. So bitter as a man. And for embarrassing us, oh, so, so you've given him Immediately points. unprofessional. Oh, it's only 18 months contract. It is currently 10 years. seven all, okay? You both have to stake your claims now. We're going in for the crown. Who's gonna take it? Okay. Barnaby, let's go to you with your point. He is one of only two managers during Spurs times to get the best out of Adebayor. And he's also one of only three managers in any time to get the best out of him. And he scored so many goals for uh, Tim Sherwood, did Emmanuel Adebayor, that Tim Sherwood now, and here is my winning point, I think, is going to take Adebayor, Adebayor off us Ooh. at just the right time when Adebayor is a complete so, waste of money and time. Your so argument Tim is... Sherwood is great for Spurs, he was good for Spurs, and now he's going to do the right Hold thing Hold on, I'm thinking Spurs. something. I think Reese is thinking it as well, Reese. Your argument is that he, he, you deserve a point because he made Adebayor brilliant. Adebayor, who we are now so desperate to get rid of, he's and take he wants to take him. Thank so your you, argument Tim. is the player Thank you, that, we, that he should have made Thank good you, enough Tim. to stay, like he made Harry Kane good enough, that now Pochettino can use him. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. that's it. But he made Adebayor good enough, now we want to get rid of him. All right, Come on! All right, I've heard enough. Barnaby threw a wild card out there. Um, I was swayed towards it. Come but on, I've got one more quote. Go on. I've got one more quote. Brad Friedel said to the BBC, I thought Tim did very well. His win percentage speaks for a lot. I think he did very well, and he was playing for him. Brad Friedel is Tim Sherwood's oh, dad. Yeah, that's enough. Forget all the Brad Friedel, forget all the angst. Oh, let's stop, okay? He's a Brad Friedel's what? This is what we're going to do. He's Tim Sherwood's dad. He's yeah. going, oh, he's very well for that boy. Ridiculous. Leave Bruce Willis out of it, okay? Look, we're going to get down to this now. I need Great to pick joke, a winner. Man. Look, this is what's going to happen. Barnaby said, he threw it out there. He said that out of your, um, wait, hey, put it on now. We'll see what's going to He I'm said, like a box around the ring before the announcement. He said I would that, have done he, a box he, said anyway. that he got the best out of Adebayor, and he also said that Tim Sherwood is going to be taking Adebayor off us. So the winner is Reese James. Yes. Not yes. Barnaby. Yes. Purely because he went against what he was saying. <laughs> yes. if, Reece, if, if Tim Sherwood wasn't at Aston Villa, then he wouldn't be able to take Adebayor off of us. He would still be at Spurs. That doesn't make any yeah. sense. So yeah. Reese James yeah. is actually yeah. the yeah. winner. It's perfect it went against you. You know why. You know why it makes sense, because of the Illuminati. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> All right, we'll leave the Illuminati. Guys, video. this has been the 8-Bit Debate. Today, Reese is the winner. Make sure you subscribe. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think we should have kept him showered, or should we have let him go? It's all up to you guys. Make sure you like the video and follow us on Twitter, Spurred on TV. <laughs> what have I got for you here? I've got the top five American players to have played for Spurs. I know what you're thinking. How many American players have played for Spurs? Well, we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go for it. Number five. 